in this video we're going to set up our first game and that's mining hot on the near protocol blockchain as you can see to the right of the quick launch command we can also see a link to the game so let's click that to open it in telegram the first step to creating a new game account is to open the wallet we need to click ok to proceed now it's going to have a create new account button available to us when we click that there's two things the first is the nickname and the second is the seed phrase the most important of these two elements is the seed phrase because that's how we're going to log in with our script so we're going to click on there highlight the 12 words and copy them so we can use them in a minute after clicking the create account button there's a few manual steps we need to take firstly let's go to the box that says claim your first hot and click claim there's a few explainer screens as to how you claim and why to do it so I'm going to get as far as pressing the claim button now we can see two things firstly we have a storage pot that's slowly filling up with a fraction of a coin and secondly we have a timer that tells us how long it's going to take until the pot's full so let's head over now to the script and plug in our seed phrase from our github page we need to copy two sets of commands the first is to change directory into the hot wallet bot directory and the second is to launch the hot script so if we come back to shell ngn we can copy those now let's stick with the default settings and the sequential wallet number now I'm going to select as previously saved telegram account to save time and that's going to be TG2 so we can see it's restored the backup of our telegram account and it's attempting to check for the start button we've now got to this step that requires us to enter the seed phrase so I'm going to paste that into here now okay everything stepped through correctly so now the default action for me is that we add this wallet to PM2 to do that we're just going to hit enter to add it automatically to PM2 and we're going to press enter again to save the PM2 process list for anyone not familiar with PM2 PM2 is the node process manager which has now taken over running the script and is going to sit in the background waiting to claim the wallet so if we use the pm2 logs command we can see that the session hot colon wallet one has opened it stepped through the various stages of the game until it got to the point where it told us how long it would be before the pot is filled and that time was one hour 43 minutes it supplied a random offset of five minutes and it's now going back to sleep for 108 minutes in the background to wait for that pot to be full when it's the most opportune time to claim it however what's cool is my wife also has an account and we can set it up side by side that the script will claim her account too so let's go back to look for our launch.sh hot and we're going to take the next available wallet number wallet 2 now I'm going to use telegram account number two actually with this game the claim hot game doesn't matter which telegram account you use however as soon as we've got to I'm going to use two it should now step through until we get to the seed phrase stage okay I shall now copy the seed phrase let's see if that's correct Okay, it's accepted my next seed phrase now it's the same questions would you like to add it to PM2 I'm going to use the default yes and would I like to save it yes you can now see there's a second wallet available under PM2 if we open my wife's account using PM blogs hot colon wallet 2 we can see a slightly different output at step 106 it tells us that the pre-claim wait time was filled that meant the storage was already full when the script ran so now instead of going back to wait 
it does some steps to make the claim. We can see that after making the claim, there's three hours until the pot is full again. That shows us that the script has correctly claimed her pot. For those using a dedicated Linux server, you can run this command to make sure that PM2 persists through reboots of the server. Or if you're on Windows, you can look at the Windows setup as to how to copy the batch file into your startup programs. Now that we've got hot all set up, we can move on and add another game.